Hey, welcome back. So let's get started with another exercise on CAN. So this time let's use CAN normal mode. This exercise, we are going to use two nodes. Okay, one is N1 and another one is N2. Two boards we are going to use. So this is a connection you have to do if you are using transceiver. So if you are not using transceiver, then I will show you how to do the connection later. So what this application does. Now here I have written some points for you. First N1 sends a message that is actually a LED number using data frame for every one second to N2. That is node 2. So you can use a timer here. Okay. So a timer which generates interrupt for every one second and in the interrupt handler of the timer you can send a CAN data frame from N1 to N2. Great. So after the reception of the message, N2 has to glow the corresponding LED. Okay. So basically, uh, I'm using four LEDs here, external LEDs. They are connected to different GPIO uh, pins of the N2 board. Now this is LED 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So basically N1 sends that LED number. So then N2 has to receive that and it has to glow the corresponding LED. Now N1 also sends a remote frame to request 2 bytes of data for every 4 seconds. And N2 upon receiving the remote frame should send back 2 bytes of reply by using data frame and the N1 will receive that data frame and it will just display. And let's use interrupt driven code as we discussed in the last exercise. Uh, so very interesting application, isn't it? So by doing this application, your grip on handling CAN peripherals will surely increase. And um, we are going to see what are the settings we have to do for the normal mode. Uh, and after that, we can also try different bit rates like transmitting uh, messages over higher bit rates such as 1 megabit per second and also we will also extend this application in order to impose some acceptance filtering rules so which we discussed in the previous videos